What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Locked In with Trey. And today we're going to discuss what's the biggest difference between dreadlocks and braids. So, hey, without further ado, stay locked and stay tuned. All right, guys, for those of you who do not know, I don't have locks anymore. As y'all can see, I'm rocking the braids, the box braids. If you want to find out more about that, man, I'll run that video up across here. So go check that out and you'll be caught up to speed. But anyway, back to the video, dreadlocks or braids. Now, this is not a comparison about which one is better because I like both. And I've already told y'all before in my last video that I like locks a lot more than I like braids. But this is what I'm rocking with right now until I start my locks back which is soon so hey stay tuned for that but anyway dreadlocks or braids now to figure out the difference between these two hairstyles i want to scale them and grade them by three topics and that is maintenance style and versatility if you have something else in mind to compare these two hairstyles drop it down in the comments and we'll do another video separate from this one but right now we're going to just focus on maintenance style and versatility Moving on. Round one, maintenance. Now, when it comes to dreadlocks, and we'll start with dreadlocks first because that's the one that everybody's rooting for anyway, plus me. I am a lock fan, and I always will be a lock fan, and this channel is catered to locks anyway. So, hey, we're going to start with dreadlocks first. Anyway, when it comes to maintenance on dreadlocks, it is very, very low maintenance unless you're just like a clean freak and you like your hair to look good all the time, you know what I mean? But if you're somebody who just like locks and don't really care about keeping them up so much, this is perfect for you. Low maintenance on dreadlocks, man. Anytime you get dreads, you can already assure yourself that you're not going to have to take care of them that much or keep up with them that much. Braids, on the other hand, is a different story, but we'll get to that in a minute. Locks is one of the lowest maintenance hairstyles or hair types that you can have because you don't really have to do anything. Once you get your hair locked in, I mean all the way locked in, and you're not worried about your hair unraveling and stuff like that, so that six-month period, once you hit that six months you should be locked in pretty much all the way and you don't have to worry about nothing you can get up shake your dreads put some water in them or your morning routine or ritual whatever it is that you do religiously you can do that and go you don't have to really worry about frizz or any of that because sometimes in some cases frizz look actually dope on dreads but for the most part maintenance on dreadlocks is pretty self-explanatory if you need more detail on that i got several other videos that can coach you through why low maintenance on dreadlocks is the way to go and if you're looking for low maintenance on any hairstyle dreadlocks is the way to go period now when it comes to braids braids is a totally different story yes they look good clean and everything like that but the maintenance on them bad boys are gonna be a lot higher especially depending on the style like if you rocking box braids like mine they might be at the last maybe a month if you take care of them but if you don't if you ain't wearing your do-rag or having something tied on your head when you sleep and you're moving around and you're a rough sleeper yeah your hair gonna be frizzy looking crazy unless you got somebody in your house that can do your hair or you just got bread and then even still if you got bread to go to a beauty salon you might be waiting in line forever so hey just be cautious if you got braids because if you sleep rough your hair gonna be frizzy it's gonna be hard to maintain it and you're gonna be looking busted in the head like you're homeless until you go to the beauty salon because a hey, true story there's a lot more people that know how to start their dreadlocks from home than people who know how to braid their own hair that's just what it is now you can look it up i might be wrong but I doubt it. I, I highly doubt it. There's more people. And somebody Google it. Look it up or tell me down in the comments right now what you think about this. But I guarantee you there's a lot more people that know how to start their dreadlocks from scratch than they do know how to braid their own hair. Hey, that's just what it is. It is what it is. Now, when it comes to braids also, max, I would say braid styles can last no longer than a month. And that's really pushing it depending on what style you have. Because like I said, my style, the box braids, I could probably rock this for like a month if I'm cautious on how I do my stuff. And when I say cautious, it really boils down to my sleep my sleep because I can pretty much manage it when I'm up and walking around and doing day to day stuff even going to the gym and coming back as long as I'm not too rough with my head and scratching my head and stuff like that my braids won't get loose and I can pretty much maintain it like it look now but like I said braids are pretty much mid-level to high level when it comes to maintenance 
you know, you're going to have to do some work to try to keep them bad boys looking right. And you really don't have to worry about that with dreadlocks. So, hey, moving on to style. Now, when it comes to styling braids and dreadlocks, I would say they're pretty much tippy tat, even though braids might have the dreads a little bit a little bit when it comes to style because when you have dreadlocks depending on what size your dreads are will dictate how you style your hair anyways now with braids you can undo them have regular raw hair and style it how you want with dreadlocks you're not just gonna undo them because if you undo them you ain't gonna have dreads no more and, and what are we even talking about this for but don't get me wrong dreadlocks you can style them however you want you can do the killmonger you can even do braids you can do braids with dreads now you can't do braids to dreads unless you got something magical like a crochet hook you know what i'm saying now but for real though it's a lot easier to go from dreads to braids because you can have dreads and get them braided versus going from braids to dreadlocks it's totally two different things when you're talking about time span but all in all i feel like dreads and braids are kind of tippy tat when it comes to styling because it's really to each his own whatever you feel is dope for style you know what i mean you're gonna lean more towards whatever you like if you like braids more you're gonna lean more towards braids and you'll style it however you want if you like dreads more same thing you know what i mean i would say that braids are a little bit more to style and it could be because they're a little bit more accepted than dreadlocks are i see a lot more people with braids than i do with dreadlocks now it's starting to change a little bit because dreadlocks you know dreadlocks is the talk around town everybody wants dreads it don't matter what background you come from white black hispanic asian i've seen asians believe it or not I've seen Asians with dreadlocks, so you know what I mean? Dreadlocks are starting to get a little bit more accepted, but you know, back in the past, leading up until today, braids, you see a lot more braids than you do dreadlocks, and that's just what it is, you know what I mean? And I'm sure at some point in time, braids was looked at just like dreadlocks are today, and people really weren't rocking with it, especially if men was wearing it. There was more of a female thing, maybe in some cultures. I'll correct myself and say in some cultures, you had the females rocking the braids and men really didn't do that. But in other cultures, a hey, dreadlocks, braids, all that, everybody was wearing it from the female all the way down to the dog, you know what I mean? So, hey, yes, everybody was wearing them. But all in all, like I was saying before, braids and dreads, they're pretty much tiffy tap when it comes to style. Now, you let me know what you think down below in the comment section and we'll hash it out. Moving on to versatility. Now, when it comes to which one is more versatile, you already know which one I'm going to pick. And it's pretty much going to be common sense when I get through explaining my side of the story. But when it comes to versatility, dreadlocks takes the cake 100%. Because you can go from having dreads to having braids with dreads. Take your braids out and then you still got dreads and you can style it however you want all within a 24 hour period. Now, when it comes to braids, once you have a style of braids and you get your hair done, that's it. If you take your braids out, then you back to square one, big dog. You feel me? Because braids are meant to last as long as the hairstyle. Dreadlocks will last however long you want them to last until you pick them out like I did. But hey, I'm starting to back soon. Anyway, but yes, guys, when it comes to dreadlocks, you can wash your dreads once they locked in. You can scrub and do all that, dry them off, and go, really, after you spray the stuff in and all that. With braids... If you get under the water and you scrub your head, they gone. They gone. They they look crazy. Like somebody bust you in the head with a bottle or something. You know what I'm saying? So if you get under water with braids and you don't know what you're doing, you start scratching and scrubbing your scalp, it's over with. Just, just close the book. Close the book. But anyways, as y'all can see, I am biased to locks. But common sense will tell you after looking at these three topics, maintenance, style, and versatility, Dreadlocks take the cake. I mean, when it comes to maintenance, of course, dreadlocks is going to last a lot longer than braids do. When it comes to style, uh, it's to each his own, you know what I mean? Dreadlocks might be winning over here on this side. Braids might be winning over here on this side. It really don't matter. It, it, whatever you feel, what, whatever cake you like. You know, I like chocolate. And then when it comes to versatility, dreadlocks take the cake 100% because... I just explained it to you. I'm not going to go back over it. You know now. 
But anyways, guys and girls, that is it for the video. I hope y'all digging these videos, this content I'm dropping for you guys. I'm dropping them every week. Hey, they come in every week. I don't know how many times a week, but just know you can expect the video every week. Go on and throw your boy a like. Turn on them notification bells too. Like I said before, I'm not playing ding door ditch with you. So if you hit that notification bell, you're going to get what you get. If you come for likes, if you come for entertainment, reviews, all that stuff when it comes to hair and just kicking it with your boy, you're going to get it every week. Every week. So come on and subscribe to Locked In With Trey. Come on and lock in with your boy. And I'm going to lock in with y'all. But you already know what it is. It's your boy Trey Smith bringing you love, peace, and prosperity forevermore throughout your life. Don't you forget it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Peace.